Good morning, and on behalf of WTS Global and Hansike, may I welcome you to the second day of our 2020 Financial Services Tax Conference. Building on the excellent discussion yesterday, today's programme features a welcome address by Ali Kazmi and Vim Voots, followed by three 90-minute seminars on tax fraud, digital taxation, and the second of our Future of Work sessions, The New Professional. Now, please take a moment to familiarise yourself with the platform, and during the course of the day, use the chat bar to join the conversation. In between sessions, feel free to explore the networking features and do visit WCS's virtual booth to learn more about our partners. Should you miss anything, don't worry, you'll have access to the on-demand recordings straight after the session and the full catalogue of recordings will be available on our website following the conference. If you do encounter any problems during the day, contact events at handsuk.co.uk or via the contact button at the bottom of the page. Don't forget to continue the discussion over on LinkedIn and Twitter using hashtag FSTC20. Now, for a man who needs no introduction, Ali Karsny, Managing Director of Hansike. Thank you very much, Lucas. That's a very kind introduction. Uh, I am Ali Karsny, and uh, I would like to firstly uh, uh, express my pleasure at hosting you at our 2020 FS Tax Conference. And uh, I'm so delighted to have all the friends here. It, yesterday was a fantastic day, uh, perhaps not for myself. I started the day off and the technology got the better of me. I'm reminded of the, this uh, 18th century movement, the Luddites, and they, they smashed up their, uh, their spinning machines and so on. And I think there is a Luddite culture still there. And I'm sure they were sort of like now they've transferred themselves and become gremlins and they basically um, uh, had the better of us. So today, part two, we're here. And uh, conference is always a great time for me. Um, they're never an impersonal affair. They're actually very deep. They're about friendship, loyalty, trust. Uh, that, that is what conferences are to me. It's uh, about building and deepening of our community which is at the very core of what Hans UK is about. And from the very beginning, I knew that we were never going to compromise on the importance of relationships. It may not be the fastest route to drain one's practice, but it's certainly the most robust way of doing it. Uh, this year, drawing, for, drawing strength from our partners at WTS, and you will hear from them uh, later, uh, we really have given everything of ourselves to make this the conference. The conference is a celebration and coming together of our Hansuke community. Now that we are in the middle of the conference, I'm genuinely thrilled and ever so grateful for the hard work and dedication of all the organizers, uh, in particular, Freddie Hall for his unstinting efforts over the previous months. I would also like to thank all our speakers who have put so much of their time to make this special for you. Uh, last year's conference was by all measures a resounding success. It spurred us on uh, such that we wanted this year's conference to be bigger and better. We kept holding out, uh, hoping that the pandemic would uh, come to pass and we would reconvene in person, but alas, it was not to be. Um, so, I reluctantly acceded to my colleagues' persuasions to move it to a virtual uh, platform. And I must say just how impressed I am with the final conference program. Uh, what particularly stands out for me is the caliber of the speakers. Um, yesterday and today, you uh, will have heard and are going to hear from 30 speakers. Each one is an authority in their respective discipline. And what really impresses me is that there isn't an iota of compromise in the quality of the discourse being put before you. Uh, this year, uh, there will be no conference goodie bag uh, or fine foods uh, for the delegates. The gift of FSTC 20 to you is pure and adulterated intellectual nourishment. You have the opportunity to engage with ideas from some of the greatest thinkers, commentators, practitioners in our field today. Each one of our stellar speakers 
has been invited because of the unique insights and significant contributions in advancing the frontiers uh, of their respective discipline. I do hope that we may all benefit from their expertise. Now, given the challenging times, before I move on, I would like to share some personal reflections with you. The risks to our personal safety and also economic challenge is all too real. Many of us are, in, uh, many of us are experiencing unprecedented difficulties. Our political and social establishments are polarized. Governments and institutions appear to be dithering, not knowing what to do next. And we at a personal individual level are experiencing certainly warranted uh, anxiety, uncertainty and fear. So the theme for this year's event, for me personally, is about looking forward, forward facing. When in the face of adversity, we dig deep and find that inner strength to emerge victorious. This year has been a very testing one. Many of us have experienced loss in some way or another, be that simply a loss of normalcy, routine, unfortunately for some employment, wider support, or even the tragic loss of our loved ones. It has been a sobering year. Uh, we can't always control the circumstances that we operate within. Um, and whilst it may not be easy, we can take responsibility for our attitudes, resilience, and ultimately growth. So finally, I wish to comment on the briefly on the conference agenda. The conference is divided into four tax sessions, as you know. Um, we at Hans UK make no bones about being a value-driven firm. Uh, we have decided to chart our own path, uh, and we have a fundamental belief that we as advisors to the financial services industry do not play a narrow role. We are intermediaries. We act as facilitators and enablers. So it's incumbent on us to ensure that we execute our role with uh, the values that we aspire to. Comex type uh, scandals do not take place in a vacuum. Besides the financial institution, there is always a tax authority that may lack knowledge or resources, or an advisor who gives the technical blessing to the deceitful transaction. I'm not here to preach, but I must say that at a time of crisis of confidence, we must exhibit the highest standards of professional probity if we are to emerge from this crisis. If you will allow me the indulgence, I will share a small, very brief story, um, but a poignant one. Uh, at the very beginning of the current climate pandemic, uh, I have to be honest with you, I was really spooked out. Uh, the largest consulting firms had announced that they were following their staff, cutting salaries across the board. So when things get really bad, I do what I've always done. I turn to my best advisor, one who gives me honest advice and without any personal agenda of his own. That is my father, my mentor. And he put it to me in very simple terms. We're going to emerge from this crisis. The choice we have to make is whether we emerge from it with our reputation and character uh, intact or strengthened or weakened. And by no means is this an easy task. But how do you decide, how, but how we decide to proceed with whatever adversity is hurtling toward us, that is the choice that we make. With that, I would now like to con conclude my address. And uh, <clears throat> I do hope that each and every one of you enjoys the conference and feels reinvigorated, inspired, and with seeds planted uh, whether these be intellectual, uh, moral, spiritual. My team regularly arranges for me to speak with clients, prospective clients and partners. So I do hope that in the coming year, uh, I get to speak with you and I wish you the very best for uh, Christmas, New Year and look forward to seeing you in the new year.